hi guys welcome to the kitchen um i was gonna say her i was gonna say her last name casa day <laughs> never mind we won't say that um so you guys are gonna have a treat today because i told what? my husband huh are you live yeah we're live oh. well not live but I'm my shirt. <laughs> we're just filming um so i told my husband that we're going to i'm just gonna have the camera on and film while we start um, breakfast because I haven't posted a, um, what is it called? A daily, um, what do I call these things, you guys? A video blog, video diary, she's. Um, and so I wanted to have something to post because it's been a while and let me get another blog. So I've been starting to def mod my vampire tarot, you guys, but I'm gonna use it today as an extra stand just so that it's higher. <laughs> So you guys can see us. Um, so yeah, so I told him that <laughs> um, I haven't been able to put up a video diary in the last probably almost a week now. Um, so I wanted to just have this on while we're cooking and all of that goodness. So you guys are probably gonna see a whole lot of like my booty and <laughs> all of this voluptuousness. Sorry, um, but maybe I could put this closer so it'll be like so, so much of my ass in your face. I'll just do it like this. Maybe that'll work. That's what you guys can see us. So for breakfast today, we are gonna make. Bacon. Ooh, we're gonna make bacon and eggs. So I'm going to scramble eggs, and he's gonna make the bacon because he's really like anal about making sure the meat is cooked. So I'm just, I'm just like you do it. You deal, you deal with it. Ooh, um. I'm still sick, like I'm still getting over a cold. So I have my tissues handy just in case. <laughs> but if you see, a, if you hear us blowing our noses and stuff, that's because we're both sick. Um, I'm better. Huh? I'm better. You're better, you're better? I'm not. Um, so yeah, we're gonna make scrambled eggs and bacon for breakfast and... <laughs> no one's gonna judge you for your farmer tan. I'm sure everybody, someone has a farmer tan. Um, so I wanted to talk about, as we're like cooking, I wanted to talk about um, how another YouTuber that I love to watch is no longer gonna be filming videos anymore. Um, so I was telling you about the YouTuber yesterday, I think it was, or the day before, the tarot reader, that she's no longer filming videos because she's, following a, a Christian path now. Uh -huh. So it sucks because I feel like all of these people that I follow and they're, they're not just like people I follow for whatever reason. Like these are people I follow because I really enjoy their content and I always loved watching her videos. Um, so <clears throat> it sucks because it's like, now I need to find another tarot reader, like I need, or not another tarot reader, another YouTuber to watch their videos because I'm like running out of stuff to watch. So I used to have a bunch of makeup gurus that I would follow and sometimes they would do their, um, like their makeup videos or like their, their vlogs. They would do a lot of vlogs with their everyday life. And I really was into that. But then when I started getting into tarot, I stopped watching them and I started watching more tarot people. <clears throat> so anyways, um, Imogen has made a video yesterday, yesterday or the day before, announcing that she's no longer going to be putting out videos um, and that she's going to be um, taking down like her tarot readings and all of that stuff she, because she's following um, a Christian path now. And so good on her, you know, good on her for following what she, what's going to make her happy ultimately. Um, but it does suck because it's like, there goes another YouTuber that I like to watch. So now what am I going to watch? Like, I need to subscribe to some new channels. So I guess I wanted to put that call out for you guys who watch me. Um, if you have other YouTubers that you watch that you really enjoy, it doesn't necessarily have to be tarot. It could be people who talk about spiritual topics. It could be people who do vlogs. I watch booktubers. Um, so I have a lot of people I follow that, that talk about their books. Um, I have people I follow who do makeup. I have people I follow who are plus size, um, like plus size 
what's the word? Plus size positivity. <laughs> so there's girls that do like their outfits and stuff. And that's where I get a lot of outfit ideas or just, you know, it just makes me feel more confident to see somebody on camera who has a body like mine. Um, so I watch a lot of plus size people. Um, so I have a plethora, like I don't just stick to tarot on YouTube. I feel like I like to do a lot of, a lot more and branch out. Um, so, <laughs> so if you guys can recommend someone for me to watch, I would really appreciate it because I follow probably, maybe I'm subscribed to 300 channels, but I mean, since 2014, there have been a significant amount of YouTubers who have stopped filming or people who have left for whatever reason. So it's dwindled significantly and I just have a shit ton of like ASMR people I follow um, that are posting daily or um, people who are posting like their daily readings and stuff but I need content to watch you know it's I can watch a, a, a video about a reading or whatever but I need content I need to see someone talking like how I'm doing like a video diary or <laughs> something more so it was a bummer it, I was disappointed to see Imogen not no longer putting out videos i think it would have kind of been interesting to see her transition more with the christian path and maybe see her put out a video or two talking about it a little bit although i don't know how much i would have wanted to watch about that stuff because i don't resonate with that um but i think it would have been interesting to see like a tarot reader who has done the tarot thing and then now they're going on to christianity and doing that path, like seeing that transition. I think that would have been interesting, but not the preachy part, you know? I'm not down for that. So, yeah, so. Poor honey. <clears throat> I was gonna ask my husband's opinion on that, like people leaving one path and going to the other, but I don't think he's gonna have much of an opinion because you're not, you don't read tarot, so. <laughs> you're not really invested in any of that. Hey. Do what you want. Yeah, he says do what you want. Starla. She's so bad. You, you're just like, do what you want. Like, really, that's the truth. We can't, we can't, we could be upset and we could be disappointed and sad, but ultimately, it's not our choice. It's that person's life. And if they want to go on that path, then they have every right to do so. Um, I think, I will say, though, I feel like Imogen's, video and her her coming out and explaining to her um her t her tv oh my gosh her audience was really classy it was really um it was kind of like being able to get that closed but at the same time it's like she doesn't have to explain to nobody that's her life that's true she doesn't have to explain to anybody but the thing is is that um when when Elise switched over, she didn't do a video right away. She started selling all of her decks. And uh, next thing you knew, like, she had closed her website and stuff. And a lot of her clients were like, what's happening? Well, it's probably because she was maybe, like, afraid or... Uh, what afraid of what people would say. The last pass, was it? Yeah. So That's she true. said, yeah, I'm going to close it. Done. That's true. That's probably why. And she did get a lot of negative stuff so. but I think though when you when you have someone who's like explaining their exit and they're saying this is why I'm not doing this this is why I'm no longer doing readings this is why my path is changing um it's kind of nice too because those questions that we have that we can't really ask them because we're not like you know we're not on like a, a friend face to face let's have let's have drinks and talk about your your life on a, that level, there's a lot of us who just, you know, there's a lot of people who watch me who you, you guys only see me through my videos or my YouTube posts. So if I were to like completely like switch out, you guys would be like, what happened? What happened? What happened? Like you'd have so many questions. So it is kind of nice to have a video where she kind of explained all of it and then we just like accept it and move on. So that was cool. I, I appreciated that. Um, because then there's like little to no confusion and it's kind of like you get closure from saying goodbye to that person. So 
I really appreciated that. I think that that was an amazing, um, awesome video and <clears throat> it was nice. It was nice to see. So good on her. Um, I'll start the eggs when you're closer to, because the eggs only take like three minutes. <laughs> I guess I could get the stuff ready for them though. Um, so you guys, what's up? What's up guys? What's new? I ask you as if you're going to tell me live, but, <laughs> um, so today's Sunday, this whole weekend has felt like a super long, a super long weekend. Um, I didn't go, I didn't go into work on Thursday because I wasn't feeling good. Um, and I haven't been feeling good all week. It's funny because in one of my videos prior to getting sick, I was talking about how I haven't gotten sick in like two years and this and that. And then of course I get sick. So, <laughs> um, but, um, I didn't go to work on Thursday. So I've been off work since Wednesday and I don't go into work till Tuesday. So it's been a nice long weekend which is worth it because he's here <laughs> so I've had him to myself all weekend long and then he goes into work tomorrow for his first official day so that's exciting um and then Wednesday comes around and I don't I didn't even tell you guys but my parents are taking off for um like a little week vacation they're gonna go visit their grandkids so they have three dogs and <laughs> guess who gets to babysit the dogs? <laughs> so Wednesday, I will be going over to my parents' house and staying with them. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be staying there for a whole week because it's just too far, it's too far to drive back and forth. And I work down there anyway, so I'm gonna be down there babysitting the dogs. And I guess like I'm looking at the plus sides, like what are the plus sides the positives to house sitting for my parents and there's a couple of them so one is their king size bed that I get to sleep in <laughs> two is um, it's closer to work so I'm only gonna be working I mean I'm only gonna be driving like 10 minutes to work so it's nice I can like have a little bit more time to do whatever I want to do so that's a nice positive the third one is my mom has a Keurig so <laughs> I don't have to boil water for coffee anymore. I could just stick the little K cup in there and voila. Um, and then four would probably be down there is where all of my favorite crystal shops are. So I plan on visiting some of my favorite shops on my day off. Um, and then five would be, I get to snuggle up with my little weenie dog. So I get to spend some time with him for a week. So I guess there's positives, but yeah. I'm gonna miss him. But even though you said, you were like, we spent, we just spent seven months apart, so I think we can handle a week, right? Right. <laughs> Are you having trouble? You have to light the flame. There. All right, let me get the eggs, you guys. No, no. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, I didn't even eat the, my half of the Tres Leches cake. I totally forgot. Okay, so you just want scrambled eggs then? No, no, I'm fine. You, do it. you don't want scrambled eggs? No, I'm good. I'm good. You don't want eggs at all? You're just going to eat bacon? Oh my god. Bread. You're crazy. Pretty good. Do you want eggs over hard? Wow. See, he's so, he's so difficult. He's so difficult. Okay. Let's see. At least you remember how to make bacon. Because what are you going to cook when I'm not here? <laughs> That's going to be fun. <laughs> it's only for a week. Like, it kind of sucks, you guys. Like, I kind of don't want to have to dog sit for my parents because I kind of, like, want to be here this week for his first week of work, but it didn't work out that way, so 
At least I got this long weekend with him. That's better than nothing. Well, are you sure you don't want eggs, babe? Yeah. All right, then I'm just gonna make two. And I can add my onions in it then. Ew, I just got egg everywhere. It kind of grosses me out, like the egg whites, when they come out of the, ooh. <laughs> okay, that's some of my shirt. Um, let's see. Now that I can put my favorite stuff in my eggs. So when I do my eggs, you guys, I put, we got like, my husband got the big one, even though I was like, uh, this is too much. But <laughs> uh, when I do eggs, scrambled eggs, I just put the egg in the bowl. I whisk it and then, can you open this box? This one. And then I just add like chopped onions and if I have cilantro, I'll put cilantro in it. Sometimes I'll put like um, hot dog, like I'll slice it up, which, ooh, that sounds kind of good. Maybe I'll do that. Um, thank you. But I don't, I don't need to do that because we're gonna have bacon. So I just have, like I told you guys, I get the um, Pico de Gallo party mix. Literally it's called party favorites from the market. It's just easier than having to chop up onions all the time and stuff so I'll put I use this for like my omelets my scrambled eggs my tacos like I was planning on making tacos this week but it, that didn't work out maybe we'll make tacos on Monday um and you know it's just it's easy it's just right there so little tip for you guys if you're not into like dicing up stuff all the time when I found that they had that pico de gallo mix, and then I add pepper because I love pepper. Um, when I found that they had this pico de gallo mix, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to add, have to have that because that just made my life a whole lot easier. That cooked kind of fast. Mm -hmm. Yes, coffee. You're so quiet, Bones. Creamer, do you want your hazelnut? Yeah, that'll work. Oh, I feel like I can blow my nose again. Ay, ay, ay. I hate being sick. Do you need me to do anything else? No. No. It should be done. Want it extra crispy or that like crispy? However you like it. I, I like it either way. Yeah. Um, do you want me to get you a plate? We'll just, we'll just put it on here. That's fine. Let me get the Sneeze? No, I'm good. Still recording? Oh, yeah. geez. I told you it's gonna be a little video diary. They've been watching you cook this whole time. Oh. <laughs> so you guys, um, so like I was saying, ooh, you could see like everything. See my home belly. Okay. <laughs> um, like I was saying, um, next week I will be at my parents' house, which means any any spooky readings that I film between next Wednesday and the following Wednesday, which my weekends are my time to do it. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. <laughs> um, I'm going to be filming them at my, at my mom's house. So I won't have like my cute little setup and all that. I might take one of my like Halloween spread cloths, but that's pretty much the gist of it. So you're not gonna get a cute, cute, cute setup. Um, I might take a candle though. 
my crackle candle because it's so relaxing. Um, but so if you notice the setup is different, that's why, because I'm not going to be in my own house. And I feel like every October is like that. Like every October is usually when they go to visit my sister and, um, cause tickets aren't super expensive like they are in winter. And, um, <laughs> so I feel like every October I get so excited over the spooky season, but then it's like, there's a wrench thrown into it halfway where I'm like not even home to enjoy it. So story of my life. All right. So let's cook these babies. Do you want toast? Uh, I'll get it right Do you want toast? No, I'm okay. You don't want toast? No. You're just, you're seriously just gonna eat bacon? Yeah. Oh my God. Who does that? Are you serious? No, eat, make some toast. He's so annoying. What's that? Me. I don't want them looking at my butt. I was going to talk about hello. Good morning. You can't be awkward with the camera. <clears throat> Everybody loves to see the videos with you in it. They're always like, oh, when are you going to do another video with your husband? He's so cute. He's, you guys are so cute together or whatever. They like to see you. I have to find another topic. <laughs> oh my God. You're so dumb. <clears throat> I love scrambled eggs. I love eggs, you guys. That's like probably one of my favorite, one of my favorite foods is eggs and sushi and gummy worms. But eggs, <laughs> I love eggs. I think it's because you can make them in so many different ways. So you could do hard boiled eggs, make an egg sandwich, scrambled eggs, eggs over hard. Why are you rolling your eyes at me? I'm pretty sure you know how to make eggs. I'm just talking, because you're not talking. <laughs> Why do my eggs look light though? Usually they're like darker. Oh. That's weird. Oh, so talk about the cats. How do you think the cats have been getting along? Good, I guess. Um, Look in the camera. Why? Don't be, sh he's shy right now, you guys. Why are you so shy? I don't feel like we use your phone. Oh my god. You're nervous for tomorrow, huh? No. I don't. I know it's fun, though. Oh. Cool. I'll turn the video off. Right because now. you got me sick. I did not. You did. <laughs> you got me sick. You got hit harder, so that means you got sick first. Unless I just gave you my germs, but I doubt it. Alright, my eggs are done. Can I have a plate, please? Yeah. Yum, you guys. Smaller well, or big one? A big one. The, the boo bowl can go up there. I just can't reach it. <laughs> Short people problems. Okay. Shara, what are you doing? She's bad. I can't have anything in this house. Come on. She eats everything. Like she puts her mouth on everything. She chews on it. Just like a little goat. Get down. I had to move my little ghost, you guys. Like, remember? Remember I did my video with my ghosty? I had to put him on the countertop because Starla likes to do this thing where she jumps onto the table and then when she jumps off, she like pushes off with her back feet. And I have a tablecloth on the table, so it's really like easy to move. And she'll freaking like push off with her little furry foot, her furry feet. And the tablecloth goes like, like that, <laughs> like that. 
And then I'm so worried that my little ghost is gonna fall off the table, so. No, she's bad. What? Nothing. Can you put this on the table? Yeah. I'm just gonna make my coffee and then I'm gonna turn off the video since you didn't wanna be in it. Sorry guys. Sorry guys. So you guys, thank you for tuning in to my little video diary, watching me and my husband make breakfast. We are going to eat said breakfast. And then I think I wanna to go to Walmart because Katie, AKA um, Starseed something. <laughs> I don't know your name, girl. But anyway, she, she posted on um, her Tumblr. No, not Tumblr, oh my God. She posted on Instagram that she got cute little ghost leggings at Walmart and I really want some because they're so cute and I need something to sleep in. So, um, <laughs> I'm gonna go and see if they have leggings, like Halloween leggings at Walmart and pray to, that they have a 2X because usually that's like the, the biggest size that they come in in those leggings. I don't think those are for adults. I think they're like the teeny ones. <laughs> so we'll see if we can squeeze my ass in those leggings. So um, anyways, I'm gonna head out and thank you guys for tuning in. Love you guys and we will catch you soon. Say bye. You're right there, say bye. Bye. Bye, guys.